Hazards and crises threaten 2.5 billion people whose livelihoods depend on agriculture. Over 800 million people worldwide suffer from chronic hunger. 129 million of these live in areas affected by protracted crisis. Over the past 10 years, agriculture accounted for nearly a quarter of total damage and losses caused by natural disasters. Shocks are actually becoming more frequent, more intense and more costly. And each time, people are getting more vulnerable. There are all sorts of different forms of crises and disasters, natural or man-made. Natural hazards and resulting disasters are one type of crisis. Typhoon Haiyan in 2014 and the Pakistan floods of 2010 are obvious examples. They pointed to a definite need to enhance risk management and disaster preparedness. Food chain crises are another concern, best summed up as regions affected or threatened by outbreaks of transboundary animal, plant pests and diseases or food safety incidents. Locust plagues in Madagascar, animal diseases in the Near East and West African countries affected by the Ebola epidemic are just some examples. A protracted crisis is a type of crisis in which conflicts are recurrent and could be compounded with natural disasters or food chain crises. Those living in these areas struggle to sustain livelihood systems without persistent international aid assistance. Somalia, South Sudan and the Central African Republic fit this category. To build the resilience of poor farmers in the face of threats and shocks, we need to watch to safeguard. We need to have early warning systems to monitor the threats so that we can act before the disaster hits. The United Nations set up the Food and Agriculture Organization after World War II to lead global efforts to defeat hunger. Resilience is key to fight hunger on the road to sustainable development. Resilience ensures that progress made in agricultural development is not lost when disaster strikes. Today, 70 years since its creation, FAO believes we have the opportunity to end hunger within our lifetimes. And that's the greatest legacy we can leave to future generations. <laughs>